I thought I was done for the night, and then look at this. We get to select an epic hero for 99 cents, and yes, I'm going to select Varesh. But I want to talk to you about the four major epics in the games, the one you should probably go after, and then I'll talk about another one for high vortex damage, and then I'll talk about another one for support. But let's go and look at what I've got. So currently on my team, out of the four that are the best in the game, I've got Furbath and I have Garius. They are both tanks that can heal. Now, to help you out, to progress in this game, you can't beat that. You cannot beat a tank that can give you massive healing. There's just nothing better than this. And Furbath can also remove a debuff. So look over his kit. He's got the increased defense just like Garius. Garius is the Radiant Affinity. I'm going to show you him next. But here we get a chance to remove a debuff and do some healing which is really strong. He does this on his battle skill to heal everybody around him. Very strong healing on himself. Very strong healing anybody next to him. And then here he does an AoE with decreased attack of 50%. The strong one. So if you're going to use him like I do, I have mine booked out. I've got him ready to go on the Vortex boss. I've got Tonal Nan with him. Sigrid, we've got our main character. I also have Erich because we get Erich for free. That is my team. I'm on the boss four. I've already done three and gotten over 15 million pretty easily with all the gear we have right now. This guy, progression, you just can't beat that. Then we've got Garius. This is another tank healer that is just outstanding. So much defense, it gets this defense increase of 40% over time. You can't remove it. And then he does this mega heal. Just a crazy heal and clears all the debuffs from himself. So even if there's block debuffs, this guy will help you get through content. Very strong. We're talking PvP in both. We're talking PvE to get through everything, everything. I have those two. So there's two more that are just the top tier, the top echelon of all the epics. And that is our guy over here, Zarloth. And I do want Zarloth. I love how much Zarloth heals. It says every fourth basic attack, he heals somebody, and then he'll silence an enemy. But here, he does this pulse on the ground. And as it does damage, it heals your whole entire team. And it gets a chance to fear the enemy. And if I have a stun set on him, every time he pulses to do damage, that's a 20% chance to try to stun someone as well. So to get through the game, any content, this guy as your DPS, or he has two AoE abilities. Right there, we're going to do recharge speed penalty, which is my favorite debuff to slow down the boss so its meter doesn't go as fast this is an aoe to get it on everybody else yes i would book him out because we're getting so much healing we're doing my favorite debuff plus we're getting fears in here a progression machine and then we've got an attack lead here so it's between for my choice right now it's between zarloth and varesh now i kind of like zarloth a little bit more but Varesh is really fun in PvP, really fun in the whole entire game. I played him all through beta like a madman. This guy helped me get through everything because, again, it's kind of like having another healer with you. He heals whoever has the lowest HP. He does this where he hits the whole entire board, three attacks to put up this block buffs, and he will put it up. He's got three chances to do it at a 75% chance, not even scrolled. And then you follow up Sigrid to just pop everybody. Sigrid's the rare, and he debuffs up on the enemy. This guy just pop, pop, pop. They're a really good combination. Plus, then they can't put up buffs, which is very, very strong. A lot of people have him booked out in Arena so they can play him in Arena, and because he's versatile everywhere else. Here we've got three attacks to remove a buff. Three different chances to remove a buff at a 50% chance. We put scrolls into him. We get that 10% additional. We're removing buffs. So really strong. Those are the four strongest epics in the game for progression, without a doubt, everywhere. PvP to, again, PvE content. Now, if you wanted to go and say you had most of those, and you're doing really well, if you wanted somebody to do the highest single target damage as an epic on the Vortex boss, that would be Tonal Nan. And that's what I use right now. I have Tonal Nan in there with my Sigrid, in there with Erich because we get Erich for free. He's the legendary. All fire, all fire and poison. So I get that five team bonus because right now I'm getting like 26% additional elemental damage plus additional damage for fire and poison. So it makes sense for me to make a Vortex team that is based off of that fire and poison right now. I'm getting all that additional damage for a five team bonus. I've got Furbath in there doing healing and we're just, we're just killing it. We're killing it on the Vortex boss all the way up to four. So you could pick her up as the highest epic single target damage dealer. There's a lot of other good epics like Adolphus at in game, he's, he's good, he gets massive shields up. No doubt, there are other good epics, but you know, 
None of them are as strong as the four I just talked about. Nowhere near as strong, and none of them are as strong as the Epic I just talked about because she gets 20% additional crit rate, and then she gets 100% critical damage, and you don't need any other wild heroes with her. By herself, this lizard will do crazy damage. You need nobody else. Look down below if you want to know about these damage numbers. I've got them all. Like all the heroes tested on one target, on three targets, and on five targets. Go look at those damage numbers and you'll see what I'm talking about. It is insane for us to be able to pick Zarloth. It's insane for us to be able to go and pick Varesh. Although I kind of want Zarloth. I don't know. Zarloth to me will do more damage, more AoE, fears. I'm going to use him everywhere just like I'm going to use Varesh everywhere. It's such a hard pick, but I just want Varesh to be able to do that to the whole entire screen. Block buffs is so damn strong, especially in PvP. I think I'm going to lean toward him. If you don't have Garius, if you don't have Furbath, man, pick them up. I would pick up Furbath if you're running Sigrid. If you're running Sigrid and you've got a good poison fire team, if you're running Sigrid in the Goblin Cave, which I just ran right now in the Goblin Cave with her, getting three star on three, three. Barely I got one three star, mainly it's two stars most times, but I have Furbath running in the lead and he's putting down decrease attack. So that's another debuff for Sigrid to go crazy and fire out her shot. Then I also have in there the main character doing fire. I've got um, Letalis, which is a rare, does that big AOE, but puts up the heal block. So more debuffs for Sigrid just to fire and kill everybody. And it's an easy team. Plus, he's so good that if you're using others in the Vortex boss, this guy is a Vortex boss machine to heal, decrease attack the Vortex boss, keep your team alive, and then you're playing that Fire Poison Affinity like I talked about earlier, like I'm doing. But those are the ones. Let me know if you would go for something else because you shouldn't. I don't think so. Those are absolutely the best ones. So this selection box is 99 cents, right? I guess... Uh, I guess I'm going to get it, you know? Got to do what I got to do. I just got to make a hard choice here in just a minute. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate your time, your love, your support. I will see you all in a video soon.